Hello everyone. So in this session we are going to start a new topic which is collection management and collection management is sub module of financial supply chain management. So in the collection management we are going to receive the collections against the our due invoices for which we have we have already provided the credit. So how the business process is going to start it. So what we are going to do we are going to extend the customer for the collection management role and we are going to assign the collection profile collection segment and collection group and against the collection group collection user will be assigned and collection user is getting the work list for the our due invoices so let's check out how the business process is started first of all we are going to assign the credit limit To the customer and after that sale order will be generated so sale order will be generated against the credit limit and after that delivery document will be generated and after the delivery billing document will be posted in the account receivable as well so billing document is like the invoice of the customer which is also posted in the account receivable and account receivable accountant is going to analyze the overdue invoices whenever the invoices become overdue it is going to analyze and it he is going to generate the aging analysis reports as well so after the uh, invoices become overdue it is going to remind the customer about the overdue invoices by using the dunning letters so he is going to dun the customer and customer is going to receive the reminders about the overdue invoices so after that if the customer is still not paying about the amount of overdue invoices this process will be passed on to the collection department and collection department is the ultimate responsible for the collection of the amounts so after that work list will be generated in collection management so work list will be generated in the collection management which is integrated with the account receivable so account receivable um, uh, invoices will be posted in the work list and work list will analyze the customer by their credit ratings and by their credit risk so if the credit risk is high and there is high chances of the customer default so that customer will have the priority in the work list and the collection management user is going to corresponds uh, so he is going to do the correspondence with the customers so it is going to remind the customer about the overdue invoices and after that correspondence he is going to generate different documents like if the customer is going to say that we are uh, un, uh, unaware about these invoices so we are going to pay about this uh, these invoices amount in the next week so what the collection management user will do it is going to generate the promise to pay document so promise to pay document will be generated where we are going to specify that customer is going to pay in the next week so if the customer is saying that we have some dispute about the um, amount of the invoice or about the quality of the material so dispute case will be generated so dispute case will be generated in the system so if the customer is not picking the call and uh, the collection management is saying that uh, collection management user is saying that we are going to uh, this do the correspondence against uh, on for this customer again on the next working day so what the collection management user will do it is going to uh, generate the document of resubmission so resubmission document will be generated in the system so in the next working day collection management user is going to do again the correspondence with the customer 
so this is how the whole process will work so we are going to generate the credit we are going to assign the credit limit and after the billing document so account receivable will get integrated account receivable sub module of finance is get integrated with collection management as well so work list will be generated where we are going to analyze different invoices of different customers and after that we are going to process these documents so there is another scenario of customer not reachable as well so if the customer is not picking the call so we have another scenario of customer so customer not reachable so this is the whole process of collection management so in the next session we are going to generate the org structure for the collection management and we are going to do the integration between the collection management and account receivable as well so thank you for watching this video so this is the just overview of collection management sub module so we are going to process the whole business processes and we are going to do the configuration as well in the next session so thank you for watching this video